Hi, everybody, and welcome to the New You Financial Q&A webinar. My name is Greg Sane, and on this webinar today, we're going to have one of the co-founders of New You Financial, George Wilson, and we will be <clears throat> asking questions. He's going to give a presentation, and at the end of the presentation, um, I have a list of um, several questions that people have already sent in online and on emails and uh, you'll be able to also type in questions as well. We're going to try to make this as quick as possible. We don't want to be on here all day, but in the meantime, you're going to learn a lot of information and you'll get all your questions answered, hopefully with respect to New You Financial and um, you can have goodcredit.com. Um, but I will say this, in all sincerity, every day that you don't start your free assessment, is a day you're leaving money on the table. I don't care what your financial picture is. I don't care what your credit score is. You're leaving money on the table, and I'm talking lots of money. So um, right now, uh, George, are you on the call? I am, Greg. Absolutely. Good to hear from you, brother. Listen, um, uh, we've got people on the call here today, and uh, we want to, we wanna, you know, we want to let you do what you did to me that had me so fired up and running around the block every day trying to calm down. So Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more than more than happy to share with what I can answer whatever questions I can. Um, right. I know that you have a number of questions, and yes. again, I know the attendees on here. There is a chat box that we will monitor at the end of. And again, I have a short presentation as Greg mentioned, um, and then at the end, you guys can answer questions as well. And so we'll go through that if there's any additional questions other than what Greg's put together. I know you've talked to a lot of people. Uh, yes. prior to this and that's why we kind of arranged to do this so um, again information is powerful I know that people want to understand what's going on um, before they take that next step and that's why I'm here to do that so so if you want I am recording this um, so that there will be a recording that you can then share with people who are, were not able to make it but um, if you're okay I, I'm ready to get started Let's get started, George. Okay, let's do this. And again, before you start, let me say first, um, I know how busy you are and I know how valuable your time is. And as a co-founder of New You Financial, I know you have a thousand things you could be doing right now. So I really appreciate you doing this for me and for um, the people in my group. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. You can start now. Absolutely. I'm, it's my pleasure to, to answer whatever questions that I can. So first, first of all, I want to make sure that you guys can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Should say you should see New You Financial. And actually, if everybody wants to type in the chat to see if they can see it. Uh, okay, great. Okay, so I am going to get started here. And again, my name is George Wilson. I'm one of the co-founders of New You Financial. And Greg has asked me to, to come on here and ask answer your questions. And I had mentioned to Greg that what I will do is go through a little bit about who we are and what we offer. And um, I'm actually going to go through a little bit of an example with you as well. Um, so with New You Financial, we've been in business for eight years um, with our funding partners, um, providing credit repair, funding services, and so on and so forth. So if we kind of go through here, um, one of the services that we offer is credit restoration. And essentially our process is what we're trying to do is get our customers or our clients um, up to a 720 to 720 plus credit score. And then ultimately, and again, a lot of credit restoration, credit repair companies, their objective is just to get you a good credit score. What our objective is, is to continue working with you and provide uh, products and services to teach you, once you're up there, how you can now leverage that into generating passive income for yourself, keeping it up there, and you know, ultimately um, you know, earning yourself some money. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through that complete process with an example of, of how that works. So from a credit restoration process, what we're doing, we offer this to individuals and businesses with a credit score below 720. And our objective is get you to get you to a 720 plus credit score. Um, from there, what we're looking to do is get you funding through our funding program where you start to earn passive income. 
Now you have three options with our credit score um, program, and ultimately it starts with a credit assessment. So what you do is you, it's a free, no obligation credit assessment. So we can tell where you are um, in your current situation because everybody's situation is different. So the first step that we always want people to do is come in for a free, no obligation assessment, at which point we put together a plan for you, let you know what your options are and, and guide you from there. So from a generic perspective, from credit repair, you have three options. Option number one is where we teach you how to repair your credit and you can do it yourself. That is your done for you service. There's no cost for that, but takes roughly six to 12 months. If you ever tried to repair your own credit, um, it can take you that long to do it, to understand, so on and so forth. Um, we also have credit coaches or credit uh, experts that can actually perform the service for you. Now the cost for doing that is roughly $2,500. Um, you would pay our, for our services, $2,500, and it would pay, and we would, our team would go and go through the process, um, and we would explain that process right up front as part of that free assessment and, and what we were going to do to do that. Um, and then the third part is you can participate in our Pay It Forward program. And this is where I'm gonna talk about our Pay It Forward program. With our Pay It Forward program, we have what we call credit partners or funding partners who will pay for your credit repair. Once your credit repaired or credit is repaired and you receive funding, um, again, this is where we get you into a funding or into our funding program um, where you become part of our uh, Pay It Forward program. Once you receive funding, you pay back the credit repair costs plus interest, um, and there's essentially no out-of-pocket money for you or from you. So what's happening is one of our credit partners is paying to get your credit repaired, and once you get to 720, you become one of our funding partners as well, and now you get to help other people. That's where we get the Pay It Forward program. Um, now, once you've done that, you're in a position to help other people get their credit repaired by becoming a credit partner in our Pay It Forward program. And as we get into, when I get into the example, you'll see exactly how that works, okay? So once your credit is restored, we can then get you into our funding program. And ultimately that's where you wanna be because that's where you're going to start to generate passive income. You're start, gonna start earning income for yourself. Um, and you're going to be able to help other people. So we'll, we'll get into a little bit more details there. So our personal and our corporate funding is available to members with a credit score of 720 plus. So if you are already have a good credit score, if you're sitting at 740, 800, we can get maximum funding for at the best rates, okay? Now from a personal and existing corporation who has a credit score above 720, we can obtain as much as $150,000 in funding allowing you to become a, a funding or credit partner. So if you're not at 720, your first step is to get up there. If you're already there, then you're now in a position to become one of our funding partners and credit partners and help other people get their credit repaired. So from there, you can obtain $150,000 funding, allowing you to become a, a funding or credit partner. Additionally, we have a corporate strategy, which again, we're gonna piece these all together when I put the uh, program together to show you how powerful this is. So whether you have a, you know, below 720 or above 720, this is all going to work for you and make sense. So we have what we have, we've just launched our corporate funding strategy where you can create a new company for yourself or a new corporation, new business, um, where we can obtain funding for that business. Now, when we get into our corporate strategy, why would you want a business? Well, part of it is limiting your liability or your liability. You can generate and receive funding for a corporation and build that corporation or we help you do that um, and you limit your personal liability. So again, once we get into the example, that will make sense. So we have two options from a corporate side and this only applies to a new corporation. So if you 
you don't have an existing corporation. For people who have an existing corporation, um, again, we can repair your, your credit and obtain funding up here. So first step is um, for $5,000, you get um, a corporation and we obtain $50,000 worth of funding. Ultimately, we have a package for $10,000, we create um, a corporation where we have then obtain between $350,000 and $500,000 or $500, in funding. Now, before you look at these and start saying, oh my God, I don't have $5,000 or $10,000, this will all fit together because we can create, and we're gonna show you again, at no cost to you, create these corporations on your behalf and you can obtain these fundings, okay? And so we're gonna show you that in the, in the example. Now, some people who have this, again, once you see the power of this, um, some people will actually, if they have the $10,000, they will invest it, but you don't need to have this to take advantage of this strategy. And we will show you how to do that. So the process takes roughly four months to get to create this corporation and get their credits, the company's corp or the corporation's credit score to a level where we can obtain this funding. So you're looking at roughly four months, okay? So from here, um, the funding that we obtain here, we use that in multiple passive income strategies, which we are currently turning, or what we mean doubling, the investment within 90 to 180 days, okay? so. Keep that in mind as we go through our example that we are able to double the money that we are getting for funding and turning that within 90 and 180 days, okay? So what I'm gonna try to do here, what I'm trying to do here is to be as transparent as possible. And again, any questions that you have, we're, we're gonna answer them right at the end, okay? So, Greg, I want to make sure, I just want to check in with you to make sure that you get, can still hear me, you can still see my screen. Um, are we still good? I just want to kind of do a quick check for you. Absolutely. Okay, so we're good? All right. Yep. All right, perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead that this into, so essentially what we're doing is we're starting with credit restoration, credit repair, working to get you into funding and then ultimately creating a passive income opportunity for you so that you're generating income and revenue for yourselves while you're maintaining and protecting your credit score, okay? And we're doing that through personal and corporate funding. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take a, 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 an example scenario where we have Bob who, and, and we're gonna look at the pay it forward credit repair. So we're gonna look at Bob who has currently has a credit score of 540. So what we're going to do is currently on average right now, we are um, repairing credit within 35 days, okay? And so in this case, we are looking to restore Bob's credit in roughly 35 days, but the cost will be roughly $2,500. So Bob doesn't have the money, but he is interested in our pay it forward program. Now, John is a funding partner and he agrees to pay Bob's credit. Okay, so he's agreed to pay the $2,500 to get Bob's credit um, from 540 to 720. Now, Bob agrees to get his credit repaired, have John pay for it, and agrees to get funding once his credit has been repaired. In exchange, Bob agrees to pay John $5,000 once he gets his funding. Okay, so right now it's cost, it, there's no money coming out of Bob's pocket and he is now in the credit repair process and he agrees that once we get him up to the 720, he is going to go into our funding uh, program. He's gonna become one of our funders and help other people. So if we go down here, so, so within say 35 days, um, Bob's credit is repaired. We then will take roughly another 21 to 30 days to get Bob funding. So. Bob's credit is restored to 720 and is now eligible for up to $150,000 in funding. Now this can vary based on a number of situations, um, but in this example, we're going to use $150,000. And again, when you get your assessment, all of this will be laid out for you um, as to the direction you want to go. Okay, so here's an example 
of how this 150 would be dispersed. Now, 45 of this is actually going to consulting fees. We recommend that everybody hold back or you hold back $30,000 of that money in order to service the debt for six months because we know that within six months, the remaining part of that, we can turn it and start giving you enough money to pay and service the debt moving forward. And you'll see the example as we move forward. Now, 5,000 of that you are paying to John because John helped you help Bob fix his credit. So 5,000 is going to pay John for helping Bob get to this point. That leaves $70,000 for Bob to now invest. So we now have $70,000 to invest. So what are we going to do with that $70,000? So let's look back at the corporate st stacking strategy that we talked to, or the, the, we, the corporate strategy. We're gonna take $10,000 of that and start to create a new corporation. So stay with me here, because it may get a little bit complicated, okay? So $10,000 we're going to take out of that 70,000 and we are going to initiate a new corporation so that that corporation can obtain $350,000 in funding. Now remember this takes four months, okay? So we've invested 10,000, we're gonna get that corporation created and we're gonna create, we're gonna look to obtain $350,000 in funding. Now we, it can go as high as a half a million dollars, but we're gonna play with the 350,000 and we're gonna show you our corporate stacking strategy. The remaining 60,000, we're going to invest in our pay it forward program. So just as um, John, who was one of our funding, helped Bob, now Bob's in a position to help other people do the same thing and repair their credit. Okay, so 60,000 of that, will he will put into the pay it forward, help other people restore their credit. In exchange, he is going to double his money every 90 to 180 days, helping others repair their credit. At the same time, we're going to start to pay down that personal debt, okay? So if we continue through the process, we're gonna break it down a little bit more. We're gonna summarize this. So Bob received personal funding on month, so the month one, once, he's repair, once his credit is repaired and he's received his funding, he's received $70,000 in month one, okay? We're gonna look at, basically see what happens in the first year. 10,000 is used to create the first business or corporation number one. 60,000 is put into the pay it forward. Fast forward to month number four. Remember we said that we can take the $60,000 and what we're going to do is we're gonna double that over, in this case, we're doubling it in four months. So that 60,000 turns into 120,000 from the pay it forward program. So, in month four, our first corporation now received funding of $350,000. What we're doing in this scenario is because we took $10,000 and created that corporation, we are not now going to take $25,000 back from that corporation in, in exchange for that $10,000 that we loaned that business to to be created. So we've turned that $10,000 into $25,000. And again, this can be any number, but um, here you're getting two and a half times for creating that corporation that you own. And I'll show you again when we look at the company in more detail. So to make it simple, we now have 120,000 in month one, plus the 25,000 we've received from the corporation. So that gives us $145,000, which is reinvested into pay it forward helping other people get their credit repaired. Again, in month, four months from now in month eight, that 145, we are able to turn into 290,000 uh, from the pay it forward program, which we then reinvest back into, um, into the pay it forward program. By month 12, we have now turned that 290 into 580 from the pay it forward program. We're going to assume that we have, again, not paid down the loan. Again, in this case, you would have, but we're just going to assume, for argument's sake, we still owe that initial $150,000 we received on month one, okay? So our net worth, what we have in, in net value of 
you know, money that we have working for us is $430,000. How do I get that? Well, I take the $580,000 that we've generated over the year for the Pay It Forward program, deduct $150,000 that we have uh, in loans, and that leaves us with $430,000 net worth. Okay. From here, again, you can either reinvest that as we continue to move forward. Um, you can use this to pay down the loan. So you're actually sitting with $140,000 with no debt. Um, again, not necessarily something we would agree with or, or offer you. But um, again, it's completely your choice as to what you want to do with this. But ultimately, what you want to do is have this con to continue to grow. Okay. Now, this is just your personal side. Now, remember, when we first started this process in month one, we also started our own business or our own corporation. So let's look at what happens with that corporation. In month one, we initiated the creation of business number one. It cost $10,000, which was received from your personal funding or Bob's personal funding. In month four, we received $350,000 in funding. Um, from that, we have $170,000 available to invest. So where does that $175,000 go? Okay, that $175,000 is $10,000. What we're going to do is start to create a business, a second business, because we're going to do this process over again, which means in four months, we're going to obtain another $350,000. So we'll start off with $10,000 to initiate that creation. We're going to take $25,000 and we're going to pay it back to you or to Bob as payment for them loaning the $10,000 to create this business to start with. That's where we get that $25,000 in here. This is that $25,000 here. Okay. That will leave us with, um, hang on here, wrong slide. That will leave us with $150,000 that we can now invest through the corporation, separate from your personal funding, into the Pay It Forward program to help even more people. In month eight, we have now turned that 150 into 300,000 in the Pay It Forward program. Our second business now receives funding, at which point, because this business loaned them the 10,000 to create it up here, we're gonna get $25,000 back, okay? That gives business number one or corporation number one an additional $25,000 that we can now invest in the Pay It Forward program, which again, gives us $325,000 available to reinvest in the Pay It Forward program. By month 12, we've doubled this through the Pay It Forward program to $650,000. If we assume that we have not paid any principal off that $350,000, then our net worth from our corporation is now $300,000 after one year. That's $650,000 less the $350,000 loan that leaves us a net worth or net profit of $300,000 from this corporation. And again, the same thing's going to happen for business number two, number three, and so on. And as many times as you wish to do this, okay? Remembering what happens in this corporation, um, Again, you are not personally liable for, but you're building up an asset. Every business that you're building up following the same strategy, you're building up an asset that ultimately you own 100% of. So you own 100% of business one, business two, business three. Okay. So let's summarize that. If we look at the plan by following our plan, after one year, Bob's credit score went from 540 to 720,000. Bob then obtained funding for $150,000, okay? At the end of year one, from that $150,000, he has a personal net worth of $430,000. He owns two businesses currently with a net worth of $300,000 and growing and we're in the process of creating his third business. That's almost $750,000 in net worth in one year with no out-of-pocket expense to Bob. Bob never paid a dime. 
other than getting other people to help and using other people's money to generate this type of revenue. By the end of year two, and I did not take that one year further, but Bob's net, net worth will be well over $2 million based on following this strategy and ultimately helping other people to do what you were helped or what Bob was helped to do. And so, again, if your credit score is below 720, you're going to require this step and it's going to take a little bit longer. But if you're already above that, you can start right at this point and follow the same strategy. Again, ultimately, none, there's no money coming out of your pocket um, in order to achieve these types of results. Now, again, the, this is a hypothetical situation, but very real. Um, and so from this perspective, you follow our plan and this is the potential that, um, you know, can happen. Now, these numbers are based on reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting. Doesn't necessarily mean that, again, if you have a personal net worth of $430,000, if you wanted to, if you needed to take $100,000 out and now you're making $100,000 a year, well, you still have 330 to reinvest into year two. So your year two would obviously be less, but at the same time, you're also generating businesses that are generating the same type of revenue scenario. And again, you can continue to do this over and over and over. There's no limit as to the number of businesses you can create and to the number of people that you can help. So, I know that there's probably a ton of questions. I know that there may be some confusion, um, which I'm more than happy to help out. Um, at this point, I would like to, um, again, open it up to Greg if he wants to ask, or ask the questions. I do want to say that, again, our process here is it all starts with an assessment. And from, um, again, once you get into the system, everybody's situation is different. And so with every person that we do the free assessment with, we create the plan and present it as to what's going to fit you. So this being a little bit more generic um, and it's going to, to be a little bit different based on your situation. So once you have that process um, or the assessment done, we can then assist you and provide you with the plan and your options on how to get through um, the, the system and draft a plan similar to this, but changing Bob's name to your name. So, um, Greg, if you're there, if we want to open this up. Yes, I'm here. And um, I don't know about anybody else, but the first time you explained this to me, like I said, I was so fired up I had to run around the block. Unfortunately, it's super cold here in Minnesota, and that, that didn't end well. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> but I but I appreciate it. And again, um, at this point, I'm still super fired up because I'm in the system. I'm actually getting my credit score moved up right now. And as I've said on, um, as I've said before on um, my website, on my um, um, everything that I've talked about, um, I I'm still super fired up. And my credit score started at a 473. And to think that my credit score within the next, you know, 25 to 30 days is going to be a 720 plus, and I'm well on my way to being in that situation. It, it's it's mind boggling, but I don't ever use the term, uh, well, if it sounds too good to be true, maybe it is. And I'll never use that anymore because I know what that means. When I say, When I used to say that in my life, I would say that when actually what I was really saying was, it's too good for me. I don't deserve it. I don't believe I should have this kind of money. I don't believe I should have this kind of life. But I now know that I believe that I should have that kind of life, and I, and I don't use those statements. And another statement I don't use is knowledge is power because knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power, like the potential power in a battery. But unless you plug that battery into a machine, a device, or a system, then it's, it's like being smart with no job. So that knowledge is useless unless you put it into action. And the good news is that action requires filling out some forms, getting a free assessment, free. 
doesn't cost you one penny to fill out that assessment. And once you get everything filled out, it will, I will never ask you for a penny. George, who is the co-founder, will never ask you for a penny. Nobody at New You Financial will ever ask you for a penny out of your pocket. It's just not how it works. The way it's set up is so ingenious. You always It's so simple that you want to say, how did I not think of that? But, you know, that's typically the, the most powerful systems are that disruptive and that simple. So um, I've got uh, a bunch of questions that were sent to me over the last couple of days going into this webinar. Okay. For people who, you know, still have regular nine to five jobs and they, they knew they weren't going to be able to be on the call, but they knew it was going to be recorded. So they threw their questions out there. All right. Some of those questions were already answered in the in the summary, and again, masterfully done, beautiful, very understandable. Okay. Okay. Um, so, question number one: How is this possible? We've already shown you how it's possible. And and the second question, which I asked you the first time we had a conversation, was why have I never heard of this? Well, that's very simple. I'll answer that myself. <laughs> There's a lot of things I've never heard of. Doesn't mean they're not real. So the, the fact that I've never heard of it means I need to keep my ear closer to the ground because there's a lot of things going on that I don't know. And so I had to make myself, I had to fix my ego basically and say, I don't know anything. And the knowledge of that opens the world to me. So when I willfully suspend my um, um, skepticism about everything, then all of a sudden, color starts showing up in the world of gray that we, we walk through a lot of times. You walk through this world in gray, tones of gray. And then suddenly, somebody opens your eyes to color. And all of a sudden, everything's a lot brighter, makes a lot more sense. It's like the, the book, uh, Where's Waldo? All of a sudden, wow, there's Waldo right there in the corner. <laughs> you, know, you were put, the, the glasses were put on so you could see what's really out there. And that's that's why it's... it's, it's um, is so amazing to me. Um, uh, how long has this been available? You've already answered that question. Uh, see, um, is there a chance that I could get in trouble? And uh, again, you can answer that in the very um, corporate way that you might do, George, but I'm gonna answer like this. Is there a chance you could get in trouble? Yes, and here's the trouble. The trouble is you obtain all of this funding, which for some of us is outside of our realm or scope of possibility, and we could just take it and blow it. But what's the worst case scenario then? The worst case scenario then is you turn around and get your credit score fixed in another 30 days. So Bob, I'm not Bob, sorry. That was the, that was the uh, I'm still looking at Bob's example. <laughs> George, is that, is that a, a, a succinct enough answer or would you like to elaborate? Uh, yeah, and I, I would actually like to, and, and a lot, and, and I know that, that you know, a lot of, you know, the people that you've talked to, um, and it's because there's so many people that have below average credit that right. um, that's what we're bringing people into the program. That That's what is ingrained in our head is that you have to have a good credit. And yeah, you when you have good credit, you can get maximum financing, you can get maximum funding, you get the best rates, right? And but the thing is, is that people are f so focused on just their credit score. Your credit score is only as good as how you use it. And again, if we, what we're trying to teach you and when we put the plan together, we're teaching the whole process, right? We're teaching how to take your credit and use it to give you guys a better life, to give you, um, to use it in the proper way, to, to use it as good debt versus bad debt. If you've ever, you know, read um, Robert Kiyosaki's Cash Flow Quadrant, right? You have your good debt and you have your bad debt, and so it's your bad debt that has got your credit score to where it is. So let's let's improve it as part of our plan, as part of our teaching, and and it's something that it, you know we don't. With a lot of companies, they repair your credit score and then you're off to do your own thing. What happens with most people is they go out and say, all right, I got great credit, I'm gonna go borrow this and I'm gonna take trips and I'm gonna buy cars and I'm gonna go buy new appliances 
And all of a sudden you're back into the same situation, right? But let's take that debt and let's get that debt working for you as we showed you in this, this sample plan here, how we can take that and start leveraging um, the funding that you can get from your credit score and turning that money into revenue producing, um, you know, into you know, income producing opportunities and turning that money so that Again, you can take a portion of that and pay yourself, but now you have you have your credit and your money working for you. And now you can afford, you're not spending money, other people's money on things you need to live, right? You're actually getting paid and you, and you don't need to use credit to buy stuff, right? You have the money to buy the stuff that you want. So it's part education, it's part taking that credit and making it work for you and credit repairing your credit is just the first step it doesn't stop at that point does that make sense absolutely right and and that's and that's that's part of my story because i got my credit repaired a long time ago from a 520 up to 760 and i started a band and um um and somebody told me a long time ago you want to know how to make a small fortune put a big fortune into a band so what what i did I took credit, because I had a good credit score, my FICO helped me get some more debt. So I went and got a bunch of debt thinking I was gonna be able to make that payment because I was gonna start having more gigs, making more money, everything was gonna go great, but that's blue sky. That's blue sky. So, and, and I was doing it personally, obviously. So when I got all of that done, I had 20, $30,000 in credit card debt. I was helping, because sometimes my band wouldn't make as much money as I wanted them to, so I would use some of my cash advances and pay them the extra so that they could get at least a, you know, a, a small little bit of money while they worked and all of that. And it just, it just snowballed into me having poor credit all over again. So right now I went from a 760 down to a 473 in no time. So right now I'm super excited and pumped knowing it won't be nine, eight, 10, 11 months from now before I see any changes because I've already seen major changes and in the next 25 to 30 days, I'm sitting on a 720 credit score. And then on my way to getting um, uh, up to $150,000 in funding, on my way to getting uh, $350,000 in a company, and I'm going to flip this over and over and over again. So that, that's what I'm going to do for me personally. I When you showed me all of this, that's when I said, how can I be a broker? And you guys put me through some training and I went through the process and now I'm a broker with the company. So not only am I a client, I'm also a broker, which which makes me even more excited. But the broker money is so small. It's, it's just it's, a, it's like a token for going out and telling people about it, really. But, exactly. but it's a token compared to what this is. So so that goes to one of the questions. And one of the questions was, do I have to sell it or tell anyone to make money? Absolutely not. Yep. As you can see, the system is 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 the only. If you're going to look at it from a network marketing or MLM company perspective, because that's not what this is. But if you looked at it from that perspective, because a lot of my friends are fellow marketers and network marketers, and you know all of that, so they've gone through all of those you know hoops and jumped through, and their wallet looks like Swiss cheese from spending so much money and just shooting themselves in the wallet. So. Um, but if you want to look at it from that perspective, this is the only quote unquote product that you will ever market that makes you money, whether you market it to someone else or not. I want you, I want that to sink in. If you've ever sold anything in your life, those days are over, unless you just love selling. I just love telling people about it. And George and Jeff, the two owners, Told me, well, you may as well become a broker if you're going to tell everybody. <laughs> okay, so you know, and you make a little extra money. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. But no, you do not have to sell it. You don't have to tell anyone about it. You can be a miser and say, I'm not going to tell anybody. This is my secret, you know, and 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 just create that net worth for yourself and your family without anybody's conversation. So, I mean, that's that's how I feel about it. I, I get long winded when it comes to this because I'm super excited. So I'm sorry. <laughs> now, uh, one of the questions, a lot of these questions have already been answered, so I'm not going to ask them. So um, uh, realistic numbers, how do you come up with it? Well, we've shown you that. 
Uh, what can I expect within a year? We've shown that. What if I have a bankruptcy repossession charge off? We've already talked about that. Bankruptcy may be a little harder, but it can be done. It's always done. So it, it gets done. Um, uh, how many, quote unquote, somebody said flips. How many, quote unquote, flips do you do on the 150? You showed that as well. Um, I already have an excellent credit score, so why would I do this? Well, why would you not? I mean, because your credit score, see, I'm sorry, George, I know you you got the answers to all this, but I've, I've been waiting to bust, I've been busting at the same to answer these questions. But uh, I already I'm have- here to, I'm, I'm here to validate it for you. Exactly, well. beautiful, beautiful. Because I so, know I, people are asking that. You know I, yeah, you know how excited I am. Yeah. So I already have an excellent credit score, so why would I do this? Now, the way that they form the question, so why would I do this, tells me two things. One, their ego is invested with the fact that they have a high credit score. Okay, I can understand that. They worked hard to get it there. But to say, why would I do this, assumes that this is just about credit. So the credit is just a piece of it. It's, it's allowing your FICO score, which typically is in bed when you leave to go to work in the morning and watching television when you come home. And his whole job is to hold their hand out and say, give me that money you made today because of this house, the car you drive, all you know, the summer home, the, the kids tuition, all of that stuff, you have that because of me, Mr. FICO. If it weren't for me, Mr. FICO, you wouldn't have any of that stuff because you needed me to get all that stuff because you needed a good credit score. So, to, so you feel beholding to your FICO, but now we turned it all the way around where your FICO score gets up in the morning and you get the chance to stay in bed. Now, with that said, here's another question. At what point can I start uh, bringing in an income for me or me and my family in the process? It's pretty much, um, well, let me, let me re rephrase it. I, I kind of want to start with that question and I'll lead through it and see. Okay, got it. Uh, if we look at, let's say for instance, you have an 800 credit score. Okay, well, first of all, again, looking at my screen here, you need you bypass this okay so you come into our system again you right. come in for the free assessment and we determine hey you got an 800 credit score we can obtain hundred and fifty thousand dollar funding okay hypothetically we say okay we can get you hundred and fifty thousand dollars in funding and it's going to cost you to service that seven percent okay so what if we were again we what we're doing right now is we're getting more than this, but what if you could take that money and earn 14% uh, annually and you're paying 7%? How, how, how much would you borrow? If you're making 14% but only paying 7%, on $150,000, you're making double that, right? right? So you would be making like $15,000, close to what, twelve dollars to $13,000 a year passively without doing anything, only because you borrowed it at one interest rate and you sold it for another, right? Or you loaned it out for another. Well, with our program, we're actually able to double this between you know 90 and 120 days, right? So if you can take this, and I've already showed you the example above, if you're taking and, and funding for $150,000 and you can turn that in a year to actually making net profiting out of that with no money out of your pocket of what did I have up here? What is this personally? Hang on a sec here. $430,000 by borrowing $150,000 that you that's already being serviced, right? Why wouldn't you do that and use your credit score to do that? Especially considering every time you flip that money, you held back six months of payment. So that you're paying the loan off without paying it off because it never took a nickel out of your pocket, nor did it, it was the biggest point, is passively being paid for. In other words, not one drop of sweat from your brow was necessary, not one uh, calorie of energy used to pay that debt. That's the big point. That's the key point. And, and that's the thing is that you have a, say, a 740 credit score, you start right here, you get your funding, right? At the end of the year, you have an excess of $430,000 just by having a good credit score. 
without any money out of your pocket. You have an excess amount. If you don't like the hundred and fifty thousand dollars debt, you pay that off. You're still you're sitting with four hundred thirty thousand dollars in your bank account. Or we recommend that you take this and reinvest it. Why wouldn't you reinvest it, right? Why wouldn't you? Again, you could take out a hundred thousand dollars. You're now making a hundred thousand dollars a year, but your net worth is still increasing because you can still take three hundred and thirty of that and go into month. 12 into the second year and start doubling it every four months, right? You have it free and clear. It continues to grow. As long as you're following that strategy, as long as you're not taking that 150,000 and putting it into bad debt, into stuff that's not going to make you money, right? You can see here, if you can go that one year, you could be making, you take 100,000, you just made yourself $100,000 for the whole year that you can go and spend on the stuff that you want to spend it on, go on a vacation, do whatever you want, but you still have money of left over to continue to make money so that next year you can take out another hundred thousand dollars and still continue to grow that. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And I think the person who asked me that question, now that I think back on it, I think their concern was do I, cause I kind of gave them this whole story earlier. Right. So they're going to watch it now in more detail, but, I think their question was, well, do I have to wait a year before I can pay myself? And I said, well, no, you, this is, you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to make $100,000 starting the first month you get your money, all you have to do is every three months pay yourself 30 grand. Yeah, it just gives you less money. <laughs> yeah. It gives you less money to double, right? Right, it, that's it all it does. money to invest, right? So as much as, again, even if we look at the four months. Remember how I broke this down? So we had the 60,000, we now have 120,000, we have 25,000 from the first corporation that we created. So we have $145,000 in cash. You can do with whatever you want with that, theoretically, right? I've just used this example to say, okay, let's let it ride, right? Let's reinvest the whole thing. But what if you wanted to take out 30,000? That still leaves you $115,000 right, to reinvest in the pay it forward program. So if we change those numbers slightly, you get 30,000 here, we have 115 that we can then turn into 225, right? So we have right. 225, you take out 25 or 30, you're left with 200,000, right? That 200,000 at the end of the year is now worth 400,000. You're still sitting at 400,000 minus 150, you're still increasing your net worth every single month and you're pulling out $30,000 a month. Right, it just gives you less money to reinvest. So again, so, this so, is this so is, is yeah. <laughs> this is killing me because every time I hear it, it drives me nuts. Okay, so so basically, what George is spelling out to you is you're going to create a passive income, and the reason why that that makes me laugh is because as a professional musician, I'm a Grammy award winning songwriter, and I'm not saying that to impress you. I'm saying that to impress upon you, I know what it's like to be at home starving, not literally starving, but have no money. And all of a sudden, a check shows up in the in the mailbox from a song I wrote 20 years ago. The difference is I will no longer worry about, man, I sure hope a check shows up soon because I don't have any money. That's not going to happen ever again. It's going to remind me of another personal story of when I had a band back in Austin, Texas, where my band took over the whole city of Austin. We played everywhere. Every other band in town, if they wanted to work, they had to wait till we were on an off day. We worked so much. I would get up in the morning and reach over to get a glass of water next to my bed and look between the side table and my bed and see 20s and 50s and $100 bills that fallen over into the corner because I, I brought home so much money. Right. That's the kind of life everybody should live all the time. Struggle is not the way the human experience was designed to be lived. We've allowed the system that's designed for you to get rich to evade us. We're pulling the curtain back and saying, see, this is how it works. Because it's not new. This is not, there's nothing about this that's new. 
It's just a, a spin on it that starts with altruism. It starts with helping others as you were helped. Somebody that you never would even probably know is going to help you get to a net worth of $430,000 within a year. And in so helping others, you're going to get to that same place and they're going to get to that same place. And it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's, a, it's a system that I believe to be as righteous as a system can get within the framework of, of our, our way of moving through this life. So that's why I'm super excited. So let me let me get off my soapbox. Okay, a couple couple a couple more questions. Um, can my wife slash husband do this at the same time since we are connected, as they say, connected legally by a marriage license? Yes, absolutely. And again, you're still from a from a credit score. Each person has their own credit score, so you can you know you go through at the same time. If you both need it fixed, then you both you know can go through the, the credit repair part of it. If only one of you needs it fixed, and again, you know that if, if say, one spouse is pull, or pulling down the other, um, when they get repaired, it's going to help both of you. Absolutely. But you can essentially do this double if you want to, or you can do it together, right? So again, it's the first part is to get the credit, um, get your credit restored if it needs to be. But ultimately, your goal is to get into funding. So as a couple, you could you could do this double if you want to do it as individuals or do it together. Yep. Well, I don't have any more questions. Uh, do you show any questions in the um... I do. There is a couple in here that I will okay. address. Um, one of the other things, too, is that, um, again, one of the things that we try to to teach everybody is that your ultimate goal is to start to create a business or a corporation and have it run through that corporation. Again, that limits any kind of liability, and ultimately, um, you're going to get you know ta better tax breaks. Uh, again, I'm not a tax accountant or or a lawyer that you would go through for a tax accountant, but we all know that businesses have you know you can write off stuff. Uh, reduce your income. Ultimately, that's what you want to do. It becomes, you know, anybody that gets into becoming an entrepreneur and starting a business, um, you know, they're trying to reduce their taxes ultimately. So your ultimate goal should be to start to create these corporations, right? And that's how we built it into the stacking. And, and again, one of the things here is that this is your net worth um, from your personal funding, but you've also started a corporation which is generating additional money for you, right? You're creating additional businesses. And again, some people think, well, I've never heard of this before. Well, this is what the wealthy people are doing, right? They know what they need to do to get this done. And if you look at people like uh, Robert Kiyosaki and you look at what he teaches, you look at Donald Trump, he Everything is in through his cor you know corporations, right? It's um, it's how you know business is structured. It happens every single day. It's completely legal. Um, there's nothing illegal about it. You're just building assets. You're building businesses. You're taking funding. You're taking other people's money and you're utilizing it to make money for yourself. So um, again, it's about having the right plan, having the right strategy implementing that strategy and making it work for you instead of against you. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And another thing for from the corporate perspective, that's following the process where you slowly build corporations one at a time. But because it's your funding in your companies or your, your personal credit, if you've got $10,000, if you've got $100,000 and you want to start 10 companies, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. So you could start you could start the whole process off as soon as you got your first hundred thousand dollars on top of uh, paying off what you need to pay off. Then the screen that you're looking at right now at the end of month twelve, where you have a net worth of three hundred thousand dollars, and that's from Corporation One. If let's say you did all ten at once, now and after year one, you have a net worth of three of three million dollars. So exactly. it's, it's, it's your call. 
You do what you want to do, and you can grow it slow, or you can grow it fast, but money favors speed. So however you want to do it, it's, it's up to you. But the main thing you want to remember is you have to keep putting that money, priming the pump, in other words. You have to keep money rolling into the pay it forward because not only is it smart, it's also good to do because you're helping people get out from underneath that FICO score that they have that's bad, that they don't have any idea. Because you'd be surprised if people don't even know that they can even get their credit restored. They don't even know. They think they're stuck with it until they pay off a bunch of loans and put themselves in hot or sell their house or whatever they need to do. So this is this is a huge deal for a number of different people. Right. So you got, yeah. you got any more questions? Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I have a couple of questions, but I just want to put one more food for thought out there, based on what you just said about the ten businesses. Um, and again, you guys can just. This will be something for you guys to think about as you jump off this webinar. Now, I tried to make this whole thing um, as simple as possible by saying, once we get our first funding, we'll take sixty thousand, put it in to pay it forward, and then we'll get our ten thousand and put it into our first corporation. But there's nothing that says that you can't say, okay, well, why don't I just take 40000 and put it in to pay it forward and take 30000 and create three businesses? There's some food for thought for you. So now at the end of the year, you have three businesses making $300,000. That's close to a million bucks in one year. If you decide to go that route. Whatever your comfort level is, those are the options that you have. Once you've got your funding, you can decide which way you go. Um, you're not stuck to this, okay? And that kind of leads into one of the questions here that we got from Lewis here. I'm assuming that if we get our credit to 720 and proceed with full funding and, and grow business as you outline, that you will guide us through, the, through every step. And absolutely, we would go through that whole process, again, we would be um, you know, investing that money for you as long as you give us permission to do so. And so what would happen is that we would then take that money and what we do from a credit repair perspective is when somebody says, okay, I want your credit partners to pay, for, pay it forward. I wanna be part of your pay it forward program. We, we run and manage that whole process for you. So what we do is when somebody goes into that program, they get queued up and you as a funding partner, we we would do it on your behalf. We would get their whole process done. And then, um, you know, we would um, basically run this for you. We would manage this for you. Okay, does that make sense? He says, awesome, that's good, okay. Um, why is the credit marker 720? This is from Emmanuel. Why is the credit marker 720? What's the difference between 700 and 720? Basically, that's those are the numbers that that lenders look at, right? And most lenders, again, they've set their benchmark about 720 to 740, where they feel comfortable um, loaning. They know that you're a good credit risk. And so that's why a lot of lenders, when they get into the 720, 740 mark, when you're above that, they know that your credit history is good. They feel comfortable loaning you money based on something that's below. So this is something that has been set by banks and lenders as to what they feel is a good credit risk versus a not so good credit risk. Does that make sense? Yeah, I had a couple of boxes come through from Emmanuel, so I'm assuming that makes sense. So those are the only two additional questions I have um, that were asked by the audience. Okay. Um, and if there is nothing else, all I want to say is that if you haven't already done so, right, make sure you get back with Greg and make sure that you get at least in the system to start your credit assessment. From the credit assessment, there's four pieces of documentation, and one of our people will reach out to you um, to let you know. The quicker you get the documents in there, the quicker you will get the assessment done, and the quicker you will get into this process, right? It's like anything. Every day you waste is a day that you're going to lose money, right? So, Absolutely. So you get in there, bring your credit score as is. I know we deal with a lot of people saying, well, you know, 
I know you guys can't help me, right? It's, it's always that adage, but you'll never know unless you take that first step and you have absolutely nothing to lose. So make sure that, you know, don't start second guessing. Let the system come back and let you know what your options. Everybody has options and we'll put those options together for you. But don't discount that it won't work for you. Take us up on our free assessment. Get get your free assessment in there as quick, you know, as soon as you can get your documents uploaded. And on that note, that's all I have to say. Hey, George, thank you very much. Again, I know you're a very busy man. We, we hit right at an hour, just a minute over. So I just want to say right now, there's five steps, guys. Join the club. Bring your credit as is. Get funded for your maximum amount. Choose your cash flow vehicle, which we all assume will be the pay it for it, but it could be a number of things that we bring to the table. Put in place protection to protect your credit and clear the debt. And the only way you can get started you have to join the club. And how do you join the club, you may ask? Well, here's where I come to the marketing part. You go to youcanhavegoodcredit.com. That's all you have to do. Let me type that in there. Yeah, type it in. <laughs> you can have good credit.com. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> that can be simpler than that. Again, George, thank you very much. Everybody who came on the call, thank you very much. Everybody who's watching this um, uh, after it's recorded, because it's being recorded, uh, uh, watching the replay, thank you for watching. Get started now, because this is the last time you'll have a situation in your life where your credit score goes to work for you and your money makes you money. So with, with nothing else, thank you very much. Again, go to youcanhavegoodcredit.com. And you guys have a fun, a wonderful, safe, and prosperous day. Take care, everybody. Thanks for having me on.